Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Cardades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at the major and minor premises as well as the conclusion. Now, as we learned in our last video, this is a standard categorical syllogism. The term that's used in both the premises is called the middle term. The predicate of the conclusion is the major term, and the subject of the conclusion is the minor term. Now, it should be pretty clear which one of these premises is going to be the major premise. Well, it's the premise that has the major term in it. And you should always put that premise first in your categorical syllogism. The reason why, we're going to see later when we take a look at the different figures. Now, you should put the minor premise then second. The minor premise, of course, is going to be the premise that has the minor term. And, of course, the conclusion should always come last. Similarly, we were going to represent these with S, P, and M. M being the middle term, P being the major term, and S being the minor term. So the premise that has S and P should always go first. It's going to be your major premise. The premise that has S and M should always go second. It's going to be your minor premise. And the statement that has S and P is not going to be a premise at all. It's, in fact, going to be your conclusion, and it should come third in your categorical syllogism. That was major premise, minor premise, and conclusion. The order of those is going to become important as we move forward into figures, which is coming up next. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.